you got it on there now? I do, yeah. Well, okay. Oh, okay. no. You'll be fine if you order it. I don't have it. Okay. Okay. Ah, good morning again. This is Joyce's Treks, and we're going on a little adventure here close to where I live. It's about six miles from Casper, Wyoming. We're going to go look at Edna Kimball. Kimball Wilkins State Park and it's kind of a neat place to visit and maybe many of you haven't seen it so we're going to go there and check it out today and I want you to come along with me. I've got my granddaughter here Lydia with me. We're going to have a good time today. Of course, up here there's uh, we'll have to stop and pay a fee uh, to go in for day use. Okay, seven dollars for the day use. It's twelve dollars if you're going to uh, stay over for non-residents, and uh, the fees are charged per vehicle. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good. How are you? Thank you. Okay. Can I have some milk bones for the dog? Oh, milk bones for the dog. Oh, that'd be great. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, he'll love those. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sam. Okay, we paid our fee now, and we're just gonna go down and find a place to park, and then we'll start our walk and go all around where we can see things. There's a horse trailer and a uh, parking area. We just passed to the right. And up here, we're coming to uh, a, a shelter, some places where we, they, people can park, their restrooms. It's a very, very nice area. We have all these beautiful cottonwood trees here, but we're going to park right along the river. That's the North Platte River. Now to our right over here, we have a pond, and they stock that with some fish, and uh, children can come out here, or adults too if they want to, I suppose, and fish. There's somebody out there in a kayak. It's a beautiful day today. It's not too hot. It's going to be in the 70s this morning. I ground a little bit more and uh, check things out. So we'll go this way. Edna Kimball Wilkins was born in 1896 and lived to 1980. She was the first female speaker of the Wyoming House of Representatives and she was a Democratic leader. The site was a uh, famous rock quarry that was purchased by the state in 1981 for $380,000 and named for Edna Kimball Wilkins, who served in the Wyoming State Legislature for 25 years. It's open year round from 7 to 10 p.m. And of course you saw the swimming pond and there's volleyball. Uh, courts and horseshoe pits. There are lots of picnic areas for people and a lot of people have little uh, events out here, parties, birthday parties, and they can cook out. There's grills for them to cook on. They can do brats and things like that. Now, Edna Kimball Wilkins Park has been designated one of Audubon's Wyoming's important bird areas as it sits on the migratory flyway. 100 different bird species can be seen in any season and in the whole season probably. Okay, I'm gonna find a place to park now. Okay, so we're here in the park and it's a beautiful spot. We're under a tree, but we're gonna have a good time getting out now and walking around. But I think before we do that, we should have a little snack. Don't you think so? Uh, yes, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> okay. Get a view here of what we've got. There's my granddaughter Lydia. Hello. I want you to see where I am. And we've got the cameras going. So you're gonna get a picture of us and we're gonna show you this beautiful area. But right now, we're gonna have a little snack. Oh, I forgot to show you. We've got little Sam with us. 
he always goes, hi, say, hi, Sam. Okay. Anyway, we're going to have this really nice snack here. Liddy has baked some muffins for us. What kind oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, they look so good. Yeah, they have strudel and chocolate chips and blueberries, so Ooh, <laughs> that's healthy. Yeah. So I've got a couple of napkins in there if you want to get those here. Thank you. I'm going to have one. It sounds good to me. I didn't have much breakfast. I had a... What I had was just a, a cup of yogurt this morning and two cups of coffee. <laughs> so this sounds really good to me. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I had mostly coffee this morning. So. <laughs> mostly coffee? <laughs> that was all, yeah. And then we have the milk bones for Sam from... The lady, when we oh, so paid nice. our fee and checked in here, she um, gave Sam a couple of little milk bones, so we got those. I hope the bird ladies are coming through. Wow. They are, usually. Mm -hmm. oh, see, we don't have the wind. We don't have that yeah. background. So I can hear today. really well. It's just beautiful. We're going to take our walk now, and we're going to go along uh, the North Platte River. Here we go. Got Lydia with me and the little dog Samurai Sam. So we'll show you some of this area. It's a beautiful day today. The beautiful river. I love the North Platte River. It's pretty full right now too. And it's coming into view for us. I'm gonna walk along. There are lots and lots of birds out here. Over 100 species can be seen in this area in any season. And there are those that are really interested in bird viewing. And uh, it's a designated spot by the Ottoman Society to watch birds. I'm gonna walk on down here a ways and I'm gonna uh, just show you the path that's in front of us where I'm walking, so come along with me. Let's take a look at it. It's a lovely thing to be able to walk along the river. <laughs> Sam's enjoying himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have these nice benches along here to just sit and relax. And there's something about nature that's very healing and very relaxing for people. You know, there's that scripture that says, be still and know that I am God. And I think sometimes it just be out in nature. And if we're still, we just feel the presence. Are you going, Sam? <laughs> I like to stop sometimes and just, just relax and just look at things and just enjoy this area. It's so beautiful right now. You can see we look out over the river right now. Beautiful area. Is that a bird feeder? Should we go over? Yes, it looks like it. Oh, nice. So they have put out some bird feeders out here to attract the birds and somebody has decorated it. <laughs> Isn't that an interesting bird feeder? Somebody has decorated it <laughs> with all your heart, it says. And there's a couple of nice benches here. You can sit down and just look out at the water. Let's go on. Oh, there goes da Sam down to the water. He loves to get in the water. He always has loved <laughs> that. Since he was a puppy, he just could get... I have to watch him, though, because the North Platte River has very, very strong currents, and you don't want to get out too far. You could get washed away. Come on. Yes, back up. Here we go. Walking on down here.
on the bird's leg and it allows us then to, to track that individual for the rest of its life. And so this bird has a leg band on it already. We actually banded this bird probably three or four years ago. And uh, so this leg band acts as a name tag to where then we can, uh, we can know every time we recapture this bird or someone else does. So we capture the bird, pull them out of the nets, we put them into a bag, transport them back to our station, put the band on and release them unharmed. Okay, and what kind of a bird is this? So this is a black-headed grosbeak. Um, it's a, a, it's a, a grosbeak, and they're called that because of that big honking bill right there that you can see. And so they use that to crack open uh, really big seeds. They're, they're a, a big seed specialty eater, although they do eat insects during the breeding season because the chicks need a lot of insects to grow feathers. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. For explaining that, that was very interesting. All right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ellis, do you have a bag? Yeah. So we got to uh, see one of the grow speaks. <laughs> Up close. Yes. That was so cool. Mm -hmm. Good nice dogs behaving. Come on, buddy. My goodness. Has to go check it out. I'm seeing a lot of these little. Yeah, flowers. they're kind of interesting, aren't they? They are. I don't know what they are, but they're a weed, but <laughs> they're kind of pretty. Right here's another um, nest. And so they'll come back for that bird probably. Look. Oh, here's another little bird so that is caught back. in their net mm -hmm. that they are going to uh, put the band on and track them. We're, um, we're going to take a little detour here. Uh, this is a, just a little off the beaten track trail here, uh, getting off of the paved uh, or the concrete walkway that we've been on and so we're going to go along this little trail for a little while just kind of a little different area here quite a few little mosquitoes coming out <laughs> oh look at the birds up there in the trees There are birds flying all over the place. <laughs> okay. Starting back this way. You know, it's easier to get farther along than you think, you know, and then when, but then when you have to go back, <laughs> I do this all the time when I'm hiking, then I think, oh yeah, I gotta go back now. And it's starting to warm up when you get in the sun. Yeah. With all these birds here, you'd think, I have, I collect feathers. You would think I would find a pretty feather, but maybe yeah. it's the wrong time of year. They're not shedding them or something. <laughs> on the lake. <laughs> some kind of little man-made structure. I guess for kids it looks like to me they can climb on it. We're gonna take another look here at the pond. This would be a good place to learn to kayak. I think so too, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how deep it goes but it's pretty... 
pretty safe. It's a small area. Okay, we're gonna have a little lunch here today. And I think we're just gonna have a sandwich. We brought along our own lunch and it's a beautiful shady spot that we're in and we're gonna enjoy our lunch together. Lydia here. Hello. <laughs> and out here, uh, you're gonna get a view of the pond. Some people are out there kayaking, some are floating, some are trying to swim. <laughs> and others are just sitting on blankets in the sun or in the shade and just enjoying this beautiful day. All right, so we've got chips to have. Potato chips, oh wow. An American standard <laughs> with sandwiches. With our sandwiches. And our sandwiches. Napkins. Very good. And then we have those little bones. And I brought a, a couple of pieces of hard cinnamon candy for us to finish off. It's good. in there somewhere. Okay. So. Mmm. <laughs> pretty good. I think mean, nothing better than bread and butter if you're really hungry. This is nice white bread, butter, and two layers of cheese and some lettuce. <laughs> and some potato chips, you know. Oh, chips, yeah. Like those chips. I think they didn't earn it. No. He's funny about food sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes he won't eat at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess that's good. He just knows when he's hungry and when he's not. He doesn't overeat. <laughs> 